Parental discretion is advised. ShopWWEShop.com. Now you can get $10 off any order of $70 or more. Click on the link on WrestlingMayhemShow.com to support the mayhem. Wait, just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait. Hey guys, it's the Wrestling Mayhem Show 296. We are Jesus. back again. <laughs> what the hell? Uh, I'm Sorg, and we're going to talk some wrestling. And uh, wrestling is still real to M War 19 in the chat room, damn it. Uh, first from San Antonio, Texas, is the Wrestle Fan. The Wrestle Fan. Shut up. Live and in color for you to yell at as much as you want. I am here. <laughs> and from Parts Unknown, DJ Lunchbox. Part-time. That's right, it is DJ Lunchbox, and I give you the shiver that make you quiver while I deliver the shit that it hits you right in your liver, always sound scanning, we never leaving you hanging, I'm always doing my thing, and my music always be banging, so check it, you know it be always moving the crowd, type of feeling that make you want to go play it loud, what up, now when we come and hit you, you best believe we really gonna get you, light up whatever you want to flaunt, cause we be hitting you baby, so what you want, here we go, painting the picture, we keep it hot in the winter, now big up my people, you know I'm always what you're here, on the Wrestling Mayhem Show. Hey, I'm from Johnstown, PA, the Puppet! Puppet FJ Town. Puppet FJ Town. <laughs> and, and, and the Riz, cooking uh, Maestro <clears throat> the Riz. What? Maestro? Maestro? You mean Maestro? What? I have no right, idea. Today I woke up at 7 a.m., <laughs> then I went back to sleep. I woke back up at 8 a.m., got up from my bed, had some breakfast, Pop-Tarts, not that fruity shit either. 8.30, I jerked off. 10 a.m., I went to work. 2 p.m., I came back home, jerked off some more. 5 p.m., I had dinner at Permanis. At 7.30, I dominated a single-player campaign in Modern Warfare 3, like a boss. 7.50, I got my headphones on, got on Justin TV to watch the rest of the awesome cast, and now I'm here to say... Hi guys, <laughs> and on the couch is Shachi. Wow, I, 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 I don't. How do you follow that up? I, I... quick, take your pants off. Fuck. No, I got him beat. I've had my pants off since we started. Hey. Aww. you know what? <laughs> <laughs> you want proof? Look, this you, is and I'm you, it. Wrestle fan. This is Sorgatron. We're at the look, Mayhem right there, Studios. No I'm telling you, here in Pittsburgh, PA, Man, I'm and this is you have. My God, stumbled on the Wrestling Mayhem Show. WrestlingMayhemShow.com. I am sorry. Follow us on Twitter at Mayhem Show. Why are you apologizing to me? Because not you. On? Not you, the listeners. <laughs> they stumbled upon this. Yeah. Um, this is the greatest week. fucking this show the week. that's ever been shown. You can send your fat rhymes to yeah. WrestlingMayhemShow.com. 412-206-WMS-09670 <coughs> for the rest of you. Also, we have free stickers. WMS stickers, care of Sorgatron Media, 1535 Belasco Avenue, Pittsburgh, PA, 15216. Stick your friends! Uh, and also, we got this great <laughs> iPhone app. It's on the iPhone. It's on your Android device. Uh, it's only $1.99 for all that action of the Wrestling Mayhem Show. Hold it up there again, Riz. Show the people. Show the people. There it is. Loading. On whatever phone. Oh, that's, a 4S. that's a 4S. There it is. It's a like, 4S. Hey, you know, he's Still on T-Mobile or something. I don't know. Um, and and uh, also, I do believe if you're one of those people that have a nice, shiny new uh, Kindle uh, Fire, I believe we're on there, too. If you have a Kindle Fire, let us know if we're in the store because we are in the uh, the Amazon app store for, uh, for Android. So uh, please let us know if it's working in there. Uh, so we can advertise that because we really don't get that input. Uh, so let us know. Uh, and uh, what else is there? Oh, hey, I want to give a shout out to our friends over WrestlingRevolution.com, the WrestlingRevolution.com, I believe. Uh, they've been uh, telling people about us, expanding our mayhem nation, getting the people in the chat room. A lot of new faces. So I want to give people a in the out. seats, putting butts in the seats, guys. Uh, so boots to asses, boots to asses, butts to seats. Flipping channels. I don't know what's going on. No, no, it's just, we're just yelling, yelling things. So we like to start off the way we always start things off by hearing from you, the fans, dictating how we start our show this week. So let's get it started. I in should here. probably go first. Chachi was demanded. 
to read an email, so let's go with him. Uh, not just an email. Mm -hmm. I was dem I was requested to read greatness in email form. Okay. Sell it. Sell it. Do it. Put it out there. I, I wish Sell for Chachi... Will you shut up? <laughs> <laughs> it starts, I wish for Chachi to read this email. Good evening. Wish granted. Good evening. Once again, you are met by greatness. This time in written form. If you follow me on Twitter, you heard all this already. If you don't, your life lacks the substance greater men thrive upon. Wow. Cena Foley's This Is Your Life was funnier when it was with The Rock and he was a heel. The cutesy version this time falls flat. They still haven't explained why Cena and Rock are teaming or why they're fighting Ms. Truth. I appreciate The Rock's promos, but come on! The only explanation is that this is a te teaser for Mania. But the only people who will get that are super wrestling dorks like us. Casual fans, kids, etc. won't get it, and there's no explanation as to why. Wrestling fans don't do subtlety very well. Shallow messages only. The Indie Minute is a travesty to minutes everywhere. <laughs> oh, I, I, should probably, I should probably inform you that there's a paragraph of uh, wrestling news, an insult to wrestling fan, a paragraph of wrestling news, an insult to wrestling fan. A what? A what wrestling, wrestling fan? Wrestling fan? Yes, wrestling fan. That's your generic cousin. That's my new name now? Okay. Anyhow, back to the email. This Michael Cole thing should have been over in April. It's annoying and destroys the product. Your play-by-play -play announcer should not be a heel. You want a heel announcer? Make them a color commentator. See Bobby the Brain Heenan and Jesse the Body Ventura. Both were great heels. Got their jabs in and stayed mostly out of the way. Michael Cole is overtly putting down the product as a whole. WrestleFan has no idea who Bobby the Brain Heenan or Jesse the Body Ventura was <laughs> until his Remember Box told him. Memory Box. <laughs> I, I hate you, Bo Diggity. Uh, the Unico. <laughs> will you shut up? <laughs> the Remember Box. <laughs> the Unico Road Sin Cara Kofi match was amazing that should have had more time. Dolph finally has the mic skills to match his in-ring work. He deserves a main event title shot. Zack Ryder's show gave him great practice. I'd love to see Ziggler drop the, the U.S. title to Ryder, if only see, to see him move up to the main event level. He's got a solid shot at winning the Rumble. WrestleFan is the Mike Tanay of the Wrestling Mayhem <laughs> show. Supremely, knowledge <laughs> supremely knowledgeable about the guys either in Japan, Mexico, or high school gyms. <laughs> And just to point that out, because I told Chachi this, I'm really not sure if that's a compliment or an insult. <laughs> Mixed signal. But thank you, AJ, or go fuck yourself, AJ. <laughs> and or, please circle one here. Punk Del Rio could be the sleeper match of Survivor Series. It's getting overlooked heavily. No one cares about the Survivor Series match, mostly because the captains are on SmackDown, and thus got little to no face time or promotion time on Raw. I had no idea Ziggler was even considering joining Barrett's team until he said something last night. Six days out on a three-hour show, and this is effectively the first promo I personally have seen. Maybe it's because CM Punk knows me well and knows I pretty much fast-forward past any Orton, Barrett, Henry, show, Del Rio, talking bits. <laughs> yo, yo, Barrett's, Barrett's bits have... Yeah, Barrett's, Barrett's bits. Barrett's good. stuff has been the same thing. Sounded dirty. <laughs> about every time. Barrett's bits. Barrett's bits. Barrett's yeah. wiener. Yeah. And I've been, I've, I've, I've been instructed by email, it says, really get into this one, Chachi. So move the mic back. I'm going to. <laughs> This email was brought to you by Bo Diggity! Very nice. That was awesome. 
My goodness. Was that good? That was good. <laughs> right. That was good. That was, that, was, that was real good. Okay. How about a shorter one? Uh, actually, no. No? That's what the email says. I know. I read what the email says. No, no, says. no. I'm, I'm going to a shorter read right oh, now. Oh. Uh, I thought you I'm might. Saying. I thought you no, might no, no, for no, me no. to do no, no, a shorter one. No, no, I don't one. want you to do that again. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the shorter version. Let's be negative. clear. Let's be clear. Yeah. Uh, no, hey, you know, actually, I found one up here on the uh, our Facebook page. Uh, somebody wanted to pass something along. People from, don't use Facebook. Well, apparently Vimmel Bias does. Oh. And he will kick your face oh, off. Oh, shit. Dear friends, <laughs> oh. this is our friend from London who visited us several years ago here. Vim is allowed to use Facebook. He is definitely allowed to use Facebook. Vim's allowed to do whatever the fuck he feels and like. I know. Is. If he wants to use, like, <laughs> Diaspora or MySpace or something, go <laughs> right ahead. If he wants to send us a carrier pigeon, god damn it, Vim is allowed. I don't know if it's making it over <laughs> here from there, <laughs> but, you know. Who knows? <laughs> I don't even think Vim uses MySpace anymore. I, then, it, then it must be dead. <laughs> Who does? Dear, dear friends, could you please make sure this reaches VKM? Okay, Mr. McMahon, you've been trying for years to show me, but I now accept it. You do not want me watching your programs. <laughs> <laughs> and he either misspelled programs or it's the British way. Uh, <laughs> what the it's, the, it's the British way. I'm glad I didn't pronounce it the way I thought it would be. I give up. Please let me know if I need to change my mind. Yours, v Vimmel, the Vim bias. The Vim. Yes. Uh, so there you go. I just, just by chance, looked on the Facebook page just now and saw it up there. So this is a way for you guys to contact us as, as well. No, it's not. We have the Facebook. We has the Send Facebook. us an email and, at... And Riz. Good times. WrestlingMayhemShow.com. And Riz, I want to point out that there is a t-shirt shop on the Facebook page. Okay. Because I know you were looking for one before. So. Yep. Why do we have, and we have a great shirt dedicated to the late great uh, Doc Remedy. So. Is it the Should I Wrestle That one? No, no, it's his face. Oh. If you were looking at the video. It's his face. I'm playing Madden. Chest. What the hell? What? <laughs> and, and you were discounting the, the story last show about the uh, gaming on the uh, mobile devices. Well, I don't have a 360 hooked oh. up to the big TV in front of me. So. Oh, man. Uh, the next oh, email, I think I LB has this one. Why, yes, he does. <laughs> 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 the title is Please Be Forgiving This NyQuil Tainted Email. I hope this makes sense. Salutations, Mayhemers. I missed the TNA. Oh, it's from uh, Sonic Screwjob. I missed the TNA pay per view this weekend. What was it? Turning Glory? Bound for a point? Probably a little <laughs> of both, I would bet. I heard most of the results, and although I have to say TNA gets some credit for trying to hold on to a storyline, but I would be pissed if I I would be pissed to pay money for the crap ending with Morgan and Crimson. I also heard Jarrett put Hardy over with three pinfalls, one happening after Hardy took a chair shot to the pumpkin. Head trauma can't stop Jeff Hardy. His mind has been numbed for decades. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Anyhow, Raw was rocked, capital R, last night for 19 whole minutes. Whew, I don't think my heart can hold up to the strain. Now, don't get me wrong. It's always a treat to have the rock on. But why use him like a closing pitcher in the ninth inning? I know they're trying to hold the viewers till the end, but really, don't use him like a toy in a crappy over-sugared box of cereal. Watch out for some cereal. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, and make the crowd have to eat ten bowls of Wacky Doodle Crunch to get the prize. Raw was advertised all week and given an hour to highlight The Rock, and he was on screen 19 minutes with a 30-second run-in. It was like watching 40 minutes of Airwolf to watch the last three minutes of the helicopter that was the only reason I tuned in. See you on YouTube, Russell fan. Raw was, <laughs> Raw was a solid show, too. Scrolling down. <laughs> <laughs> looks, like, <laughs> looks like a nice build and a promising program between Jack Swagger and Sheamus. A good challengers versus champions tag match, and even Cody with a maskless push. He needs to stop the baggers, though. Hit the triumph over tragedy. Uh, makes me the... Oh, I lost it. Hit the <laughs> triumph over tragedy. Makes me better than the ugliness masses angle. There was also the mandatory 10-man Survivor Series team run into. All in all, a decent Raw. Here's my take. Pity that Mick Foley had to come back on rocked night. 
it really diluted his return. I like that Johnny Ace is easing up a bit on his heel push. Let the individual feud shine for a while and get away from the whole shakes the company storylines for a bit. The Michael Cole challenge only impressed me as to how sad it was. Michael Cole reminds me of Eric Bischoff with his desperation to be in the spotlight. CM Punk was the only saving grace to a train wreck of an opening segment. Also, Kevin Nash starts his path to destruction to prove he's still the best, and Triple H rode his coattails by squashing Santino? Look out, <laughs> Hornswoggle. <laughs> He's around the This Is Your Life John Cena segment, trying to find a way to intelligently comment on it. I usually enjoy McFoley's comedy bits, but this one is pretty much unwatchable. I think the real reason was to get some negative stuff about about Cena out to test the helo meter to see how the crowd buys in. Cena's dad, who sounded like Rod Roddy from The Price is Right, rest in peace, was stomping on the heel pedal with both feet to test this. I think this is a scramble to set up WrestleMania's main event. You see, John Cena suffers from Cena senses... Sen, hold on. <laughs> sen, Throw it out. Sen, sen, sensationalization. Cena sensationalization. Wow. Wow. That's awesome. Big Cena sensationalization. Word. It's caused by overhype and a lack of respect. It's commonly compared to other similar ailments called Hoganitis, the symptoms of both include a limited moveset, Cena is in therapy to fix this, prepubescent adulation, uh, fa failure to sell, and an overwhelmingly self-serving storylines. It usually goes untreated because the benefit of Slurpee and t-shirt sales mask the underlying problem, but can lead to fan alienation, participation in second-tier wrestling promotions, and generally drags all who are around the infected down. The best method of treatment is a round of shock therapy. Classic, classic example of this, R-Truth. He was singing and dancing to the crowd like they were throwing peanuts. But when he slapped John Morrison upside his head with a bottle of Aquafina, he broke himself from the malady and subsequently elevated water bottles to the status of Jim Cornette's tennis racket. Since then, he's been involved in numerous main events and is treated as a worthy opponent to top card talent. A heel turn helped our truth who had become painful to watch, and I think Cena would benefit from embracing the dark side. I know the dirt sheets rattle about WWE fears about Cena getting booed at WrestleMania, so make it work for you. Hogan just proved you can always pander your way back to the slurpy t-shirt demographic if it doesn't work out. The Rock, who in my opinion is just phoning half of this in, but The Rock is usually better than most other wrestlers, is causing Cena's weaknesses to be glaringly apparent because of his over-the-top face push. People watch house shows about cops and robbers, not cops and cops. The fans will vilify Cena or for WrestleMania if the writers don't, in my humble opinion, of course. Have a great show, guys. Sonic Screwjob. P.S. If Eric Young lost to Robbie E., did he have to give him both belts? If so, does Rob Terry get to wear the other one and pretend he's Tonto? Oh, nice. <laughs> Listen, I, so I don't was, know so if... So that was um, an email. We can end the show now. I don't know if it's going to be a, a category in the Mayhemies, but I would like to nominate that immediately for email of the year. Don't no. <laughs> no. <laughs> if I anything, just for the line, Cena sensationalization. Oh, my God. I'm fine. I'm nominating AJ's email as email of the year. Oh, it's an email off. Oh, snap. oh shit! Oh, oh shit! I, mo I, I will, I will nominate Vim's Facebook post. Well, great way to take away anyone else's chance of winning. <laughs> <laughs> way to go, sorry. Awesome. Listen, uh, I, I, I understand where he's coming from. Mm -hmm. I, I do, but I have to disagree. Hmm. I think one of the best things The Rock has done since he's come back was the 30-second run-in on Mick Foley. That was phenomenal. Yeah, that was His awesome. music hit, he stormed down the ramp, climbed the stairs into the ring, rock bottomed him, and then left. Mm -hmm. Said nothing. Yeah, all that's... before his music was finished playing. Mm. I, I, don't see how, I don't see how that's a bad thing. I completely agree. Yeah, that was I've, tremendous, and I can't say enough good things about it. <laughs> I don't see how it's a completely good no. thing, but I don't see how it's a bad thing either. What? I was like, no, he's your friend! What? What? Obviously, somebody only watched the Attitude Era on YouTube. Yeah, whatever. Um, <laughs> so, there's that. His remember box. His remember I don't box. remember both <laughs> from the Attitude. Well, 
<laughs> Never mind. Yeah, you don't need to. <laughs> Anyways, to the email. We have another email. We have one last email, I believe. Well, yeah, I'll take this one from one big freaky. <laughs> <laughs> Can you say of condescending anymore? No, I, I know. I, I don't know. Uh, here we go. Hey guys, I posted a review of Chikara's eye pay per view to the WMS site. I hope you enjoy it. And I also watched over two hours of TNA's pay per view. After the strange quick ending to the Hardy Jarrett match, I decided over five hours of wrestling was enough for one night. However, I enjoyed everything up to that. Switching gears, I think TNA's developmental deal with OVW is just what they needed. One of my frustrations with TNA has been people in top positions saying all of, on all of this great young talent is not ready for the spotlight, but I've often wondered why they weren't getting the talent ready for the spotlight. So I think this is a step in the right direction, although I think to really get the most out of this OVW needs to increase their crowds and territories. Imagine the improvement these guys will make if they were 16 or 20 shows a week in front of crowds with over 500 fans at night. By the way, if I send you guys indie DVDs, will I get them back? I I put together a pack of DVDs including Dragon Gate USA, PWG, and more. Sorg is welcome to burn them for out for for the out of state mayhemers if he likes. Oh well, no burning DVDs is wrong. Don't do that. Uh, I would say uh, follow follow the same rule as with the stickers. Uh, uh, send send it along in the self addressed stamped envelope. Uh, to 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 get good times. Oh no! No no no! That's not that one. (laughs) That's the sticker thing in the hair that's on the screen now. So good times. Uh, So there you go. So I hope he watches the video. Good times. Um, Yes. We also got hell for not uh, singing the Vim mail. It kind of threw me because it was a Facebook post. So sorry. Mad Mike was who sang Vim mail. Yeah. Mad oh, Mike's not here. Mad Mike's not here. Therefore, that era is dead. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I was, I was gonna put it a bit nicer wow. and say we can't wow. replicate that. Nope. Mm. Nope. Often imitated. Right. Mad right. Mike's not here. That era is over. <sighs> Moving on. Yeah. Alex yeah, Trujillo I- says I think Big Freaky is secretly Surge. It could be. It'll yeah. Like a I, I can see that. I, I guess. Uh, so now it's time for your Indie Minute. The, the, yes, worst, uh, the worst minute. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, no more. Don't turn the <laughs> Indie Minute for this week. Don't turn it is an Indie Minute of out. new champions this week. Turn First, I thought you were going to say new champions. <laughs> <laughs> we got a little You're make- turning me down. <laughs> Don't see that Chachi. minute. Chachi. Chachi, it's my time. Okay. Uh, we had a Mayhem Show bump of sorts uh, as a uh, friend of the show, Johnny Gargano, won the Dragon Gate USA uh, Open the Freedom Gate Championship, which is uh, pretty much their top singles championship in Dragon Gate USA. Um, he defeated Yamato at the past iPay-Per-View event in, I believe, New York City was where it was held. Congratulations to Johnny Gargano uh, for his new title. And also, uh, speaking of eye pay per views as well, uh, the big Chikara High Noon pay per view was this past weekend, uh, which culminated. 30 seconds. In... <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> it was culminated in Eddie Kingston defeating Mike Quackenbush to become the first ever Chikara Grand Champion. The first uh, singles champion in Chikara history. Congratulations to Eddie Kingston for that. Um, also, in, for those uh, the company we mentioned before in the past, River City Wrestling, they announced that their next show will be December 10th um, at the Good Shepherd Lutheran Church for the event two, the big uh, final event of the year, uh, which will. F- <laughs> what? That was the greatest name. name. That was tremendous. But the event two. The event two. <laughs> yeah, that's that's yep. pretty awesome. Well, last year was the event, so mm. it's fitting. Um, which will see the um, uh, RCW debut of uh, international star El Hijo del Dr. Wagner Jr. Which, uh, for, those of, for, the, for, the, for those that don't speak the Espanol, translates to the son of Dr. Wagner Jr. He will... <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. Apparently, Spanish is funny. Okay. <laughs> yes, it is. Uh, um, all your favorite RCW stars will be there. Hernandez will be there. Uh, everyone is. It's going to be definitely a great show. I already bought my ticket. Including your favorite one. Yes, my favorite one. Andromeda. Yes. She will be there. And, and his oh, Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, then. Oh, uh, uh, so yeah, yeah. Get that cookie. You can buy your tickets now. Uh, Get that cookie. 
Can I promote? Get that cookie! <laughs> Get that cookie! <laughs> RiverCityWrestling.net. Go buy your tickets now. Uh, so go check them out. And that is the Indie Minute for this week. It's not a minute. But, hey. Hey, 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 hey. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Two minutes and 19 seconds. Hey. And the Bobby AON Who Got Killed This Week report. Go! Uh, the next AON show will be December 3rd 30 seconds. at uh, Planet Ice <laughs> in Johnstown, Pennsylvania. Aww. And that's the AON report this week. I'm kidding, Bobby. Go ahead. No, that was it. Oh. That was, <laughs> uh, oh. was insulting animals at the zoo. I didn't have to uh, watch it. Uh, AON go, 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 go check them out. Great, okay. manchild. What's up? Wow! Uh, wow! That was there. There you go. Well, I was just messing with him. I didn't realize he was going to be done that quick. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's all your indie stuff. That's all all kinds of stuff going on there. Uh, oh, so listen. Let's. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm if sorry. If you yes. ever turn me down at the beginning of the indie minute when I can mess with WrestleFan again, <laughs> I'm shoving that audio board straight up your pooper. Ah, uh, he said pooper. Oh, it's only a 12 track. Uh, all right, uh, so let's uh, see what's going on on the gold for this week, and let's take a look at Mad Mike's Minute of Mayhem. We'll be right back. The fuck? Do it. So we're back. Are we on? on? Are we back? Yeah, we're back, man. What time is it? Uh, Nine o'clock. Uh, time for pills. Oh. oh, you just blew your secret. Oh, fuck! I ruined it. <laughs> we can see you. <laughs> It's my name, don't wear it out. Oh my god. Oh, we're only doing this. Am I high? high. <laughs> Am I high? Is, is, is look, look, And like the shout I have now is Force Push. And I, they Perfect. killed the bear, and I didn't realize it. And I Force Pushed the, at them. And they like. Oh, please, motherfucker, raise the hell outside. Get these bottles, bounce the force, start the fuck. Hey guys, it's Mad Mike here, once again, with your. Minute of Mayhem, and um, well, I just got done watching Raw again, and as someone who's actually going to this pay-per-view, I can honestly say that there hasn't been a go-home show that has actually made me want to go to the pay-per-view less. Granted, I'm still, I'm sure the show will be great, but um, this go-home show didn't really do it for me, because... When you advertise the raw, that raw gets rocked. I'm expecting Rock to have a little bit more screen time than Zack Ryder, or maybe Rock to have a little bit more screen time than the Michael Cole challenge. Um, yeah, Rock really didn't sell anything for me. Um. Because it, it kind of seems obvious it can't happen. <laughs> They're, it's going to end with Cena giving the AA to The Rock. And the winner of the tag match won't matter. Which isn't good. Um, but really... It's, it, it, Miz and CM Punk were exactly speaking the truth tonight. Because... People don't care about Rock and Cena, and people are tired of it until they actually get in the ring. And John Laurinaitis, Alberto Del Rio, and Michael Cole just make Raw very difficult to watch. Well, that's all I got for this week. Take care. Spike your hair. Hey guys, thanks Mad Mike for that insightful minute of mayhem. Uh, but now it's time for us all to remember when. Now, uh, I had a recent uh, kind of renaissance of video gaming. Uh, of course, we uh, talked about on Gold and everything and awesome cast about Modern Warfare 3. But there's something else I did. I went to a local joint here uh, in the Pittsburgh area called The Exchange that I like to go because it's like GameStop, but without the suck. Um, and I bought these. This is about $7, something that I spent uh, on, on N64 games. Uh, some great classics like uh, WWF No Mercy, uh, WCW Nitro, 
uh, WCW versus NWO, w WCW Mayhem, like a little bit of variety. I just want to kind of go back and play some of these games that, uh, you know, I didn't own, own these ones necessarily. Uh, and just kind of on this uh, kind of mission to get a lot of the old school video games. Now, the reason, one of the things that sets me off and why I was so big on grabbing a bunch of these uh, N64 games here uh, was one cartridge I think, I believe I bought from my brother. Uh, for a birthday ages and ages ago because he was the one with an N64. Uh, it was uh, WCW versus NWO Revenge by uh, those fine folks at THQ while well, they still had WCW games. Uh, now, this game um, was one of my favorite wrestling games. Of course, at the time, we had, what, WWF Warzone, WWF Attitude, and they sucked. Yeah, that is horrible. Seriously, they sucked. But instead, we had... <laughs> this was uh, the best playable game, I thought, at the time. Which is sad because it's WCW, and even then, it was starting to a little bit show its wear, I think. Well, 1998 was probably when it was at the, its height, now, come to think of it. Uh, so, yes, there's this, this truck, this, there's this weird intro at the beginning of it, uh, with, with Sting with the bat in the middle of the road. Uh, and Macho Man driving the truck. That's not Macho Man. But, uh, and then, and then this nice, slow intro. But still, the point is, uh, <laughs> It was a fun game. It was very more, it was arcadey. It was easy to pick up in comparison to a lot of them out there at the point. Um, and when guys jumped over to like WWE, as a lot of them did at the time, you were able to kind of pout swap a lot of these guys. Uh, Hogan came back to black, uh, red and yellow. You got to toss him back over to the red and yellow from the black and white uh, later on. So, I mean, it, it was just a blast. Chachi, I remember, we didn't we play a lot of Royal Rumbles with this uh, back in the day? Yeah. I mean, it was yes, ridiculous. It was like did. the ultimate party game uh, as far as wrestling goes. No, nothing else was like this. Right. If we weren't land partying games and we were Carmageddon. <laughs> no, Carmageddon. Then we were, uh, we were playing this. So, and this is a precursor. Of course, you know, they went on and did the, um, did the, uh, 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 WWF games, and of course, you know, THQ still does the WWF games now. Actually, if you pick up something like No Mercy or WWF, uh, WrestleMania 2000, uh, it's pretty much the same engine that you see here in uh, in Revenge. So, uh, so yeah, I'm a big fan of it myself. Uh, you know, and if you ever get a chance, go to one of those video stores, and you like, I know it was still there for a buck, just like a bunch of these other games. Like I got, I got all these for a buck, so for this. Uh, you know, uh, no mercy is two fifty. So uh, I don't know. Go back, check it out, see what wrestling games were back then. And uh, I mean, that, this was one of my favorites. So uh, what was your favorites, guys, back in the day? Like before this whole era of you know our Raw versus Smackdowns and everything. What was your like? Like I remember like like WrestleMania on the on, on the Nintendo stuff. Like that. You want me to answer that? Go ahead, Josh. Why, pro, why not? Pro wrestling. Pro wrestling with like Starman yep. and <laughs> Starman. I just remember renting that from the local video joint and it smelled weird. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> you, you probably rented the same copy. I have that copy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think all of it is uh, all of every copy they made of that game smells weird. <laughs> it's just that was like 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 Stinkor and the He-Man action figures. What about you guys on the panel, uh, Riz? What did you play back in the day? Oh, uh, back in the day. Uh, I remember one of my first games was uh, the, the WWE WrestleMania arcade game for Sega. Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, oh, the uh, I know what you're talking about. They had it on on Super Nintendo as well, right? Yeah, right. And but going back to what you said about uh, WWE, WCW, NWO Revenge. Mm -hmm. The best part of for me, I thought, was that when you created. When you edited a uh, a person a, a a costume for your for a superstar there, it's in the intro. Yeah, yeah, it is. Everything you edited is in the intro. So yeah, that was fun. Like I remember messing with everyone. And See, I'm showing off a little bit of this. Uh, well, Super WrestleMania. I think it was still Super WrestleMania for your console as well. Uh, but I think this is the Super Nintendo version. Oh, the which Royal this Rumble! Was, yeah, the Royal Rumble, Royal Rumble for Super Nintendo was 
awesome. Yeah, yeah. At the that time, was, that was, the, one I was, that was the top wrestling game you could get. And I remember the way I have a Steel Cage Challenge here for the Sega CD. I don't Better have a Sega that. CD. Well, 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 it was it's basically the same engine, isn't it? Yeah. But, but you know, but they they had the full motion video, yep. and there was like twenty five guys on there. Uh, you know, and that was I always wanted Sega CD for that because it was the ultimate wrestling game out of all of them. It was the pinnacle of all of them because it had. All the guys, practically. Um, and are, we gonna, are we gonna add any game, or is this strictly wrestling game? Per, uh, I, I'm going wrestling for for. Okay. Or if you want to go off a little bit, somebody in the chat room uh, mentioned uh, the main event cabinet, uh, which I, I, I remember that too. It was kind of like pro wrestling, like a more generic one. Uh, but I remember it was a pretty fun one. I, I'm trying to bring it back. I might have lost it here. Oh man, it was Sonic Screwjob said that. Um, uh, Russell fans' favorite retro uh, wrestling game was <laughs> Raw vs. SmackDown 2009. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> yes. no! I, well, honest, he's yeah. Listen, in all honesty, the first game infant. I ever played, or the first wrestling game that I ever got was SmackDown Shut Your Mouth. And that was a pretty good game. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was. That was a phenomenal was. game. Here comes the pain. Also excellent. I have uh, mm-hmm. We spent hours, and I mean hours. Um, playing that in college and just making random people. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, I when I was young, I had uh, Raw is War. You remember that for the fucking Sega with uh, yes. Lex Luger and yeah. Isn't that that's still the same engine of like say Royal Rumble and everything, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, and uh, I also had uh, Wrestler, WrestleMania, the arcade game for uh, for Genesis. Mm-hmm. Which is ridiculous. And, it was can just I just say one thing? Wrestlers. I know I shit about WWE Attitude for a lot, but I had it for three consoles. Mm. <laughs> well, two consoles <laughs> and a Game Boy. Oh, wow. wow. There's also, um, do you guys remember uh, WCW versus NWO World Tour? Yeah. yeah. Had, I remember it had this huge roster and like all these wrestlers from Japan and all this crap. Oh, are you thinking? Um, are you are you talking PlayStation or are you talking uh, N sixty four? PS one. PS one. Yeah. I actually have that upstairs because uh, WCW versus NW. Or okay, for, versus the world. You said, yeah. That's no. I think it's is it is it versus the world or is it world tour? Uh, well, well, no, well, no, well, no, no world this tour. one right here, N sixty four, is uh, WCW versus NWO World Tour. And then okay. they had WCW versus the world. And yeah, you're right. It's like they took a Japanese game and tossed it, just tossed their WCW guys in there. And that yeah. was it. But there was Which like was 80 <laughs> guys in it. It was it was insane. Yeah, it was huge. It was a terrible wrestling game, but it had such a big roster. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. One other fond memory I have of uh, wrestling games is um, uh, I had Raw for, it was just WWE Raw and it was for the PS1. Yeah. And uh, they had a, a very, not, not very sophisticated character creation mode. But me and my mom, of all people, my mom loved playing that game and loved creating characters. <laughs> I think uh, Warzone, aren't you thinking? Warzone, that's it. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, yeah. Do you guys yeah. remember Tecmo Tag Team Wrestling? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> strong, strong Bad. <laughs> <laughs> that was the introduction of Strong Bad, too, to the yeah. world. Really? Yeah. Nice, nice. He's in the game, Strong Bad. And then they took him and, and the brother's chap made uh, Homestar Runner. Mm-hmm. And everything. Nice, nice. Here's a little bit of WWE Warzone. Oh. Fantastic. <laughs> we spent a lot I just of remember time. that. Wow. Yeah, I remember our friends who had this game and they made like all their friends. It was the first big creative wrestler one. I mean, that was the advantage it had over. But look how slow it is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Look how. Yeah. It, it was obviously mo capped and. And not very like that the, was like the same. That was like the same mechanics for like when um when ECW came out with yeah, their video games. Yeah, it was the same engine exactly. Because yep. this one ran Warzone, it ran uh, Attitude, and I'm pretty sure it ran yeah the the, the ECW games because Acclaim picked them up yeah. too. The so, only yeah. thing I'd say about the Acclaim versions of wrestling games are that it allowed you to use re- wrestler's voice as your own voice and to yeah, create yeah. a wrestler. Yeah, mm. yeah. How about uh, the arcade one? Uh, Russell F- or, uh, was it WrestleFest? There was WrestleFest and WWE Superstars. Superstars. WrestleFest and Superstars were the two of them. Yeah. I, had... I was always the big boss, man. <laughs> yeah. Those were the Don't greatest. Ask me why. Those were the ones in the <laughs> 80s. They had the best presentation out of any of them. Yeah. So I'm, I'm trying to bring up a shot of it here to show you guys. Um, let's see, arcade. There it is. 
But uh, but it was always like the really bulked up guys, and I guess WrestleFest is the is the better. They'll well, hold on, let me see what we got here. That the Simpsons game, Ninja Turtles, and um, <laughs> the Simpsons game. That was the yeah. era right there. That's exactly. one other one took my yeah, there's, my change. There's big uh, the fire game. pro wrestling. Yeah, that's one, the X Men arcade game. Yep. That shit was psychotic. It was unbeatable. <laughs> exactly. They have, for, they have it for 360 now. And, yeah, I know. and iPhone. Uh, what yeah. was that, Chachi? Firestorm? You actually no, put... Fire Pro Wrestling. Fire Pro Wrestling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I think I have a copy of that line around, too. Featuring uh, the big guy from uh, Final still... Fight. Really? Yeah. Oh, no, you're thinking mm-hmm. Saturday Night's Main Event. No. Yeah, Saturday, Saturday Night's Main Event had him. Like, there was a Capcom. There was, Fire, there was Fire Pro, which is like the Japanese one. And then Capcom had a, had a wrestling game. Uh, like, Saturday Night Slam, was it? Sa- Saturday Night Slam Masters. <laughs> was, that, was that how it went? It was like a fighting game that's, for wrestling. That's here, Josh, tell me, tell me if this is what you were thinking of here. But still, none of the games touch Crush Hour. Crush oh, Hour. Crush <laughs> Hour. Yeah, that's, that is that's it. it. Yeah. You know what? That, that's right. Those oh, guys, yeah, I do remember this game. Shut Your Mouth was in the first wrestling game I got. Crush Hour was. And that uh, shit was crazy. <laughs> You know what the first uh, the, the first wrestling game I bought? You know, again, sh- wrestling WrestleMania Challenge. I think I read a friend had it. WrestleMania. There, there was another. You know, I rented a lot. But WrestleMania Steel Cage Challenge for the yeah. NES. <laughs> yes, everybody was exactly the same. Mm-hmm. I freaked out to the digital versions of everybody's song. <laughs> uh, Do you remember see. just WrestleMania, where Andre the Giant had to collect ham? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to get his energy back up. There's a and it's actually lying around down here. I have a uh, WrestleMania based on that Nintendo game, uh, little LCD game. Nice. Yeah, nice. And, and all it is is all it is is Hogan versus Andre. So, <laughs> <laughs> hi Riz. I, I see you those little there. LCD Tiger games. Those things were such a fucking ripoff. Yeah, yeah. I spent hours and hours playing them, but they're a fucking ripoff. <laughs> they still have Jordan versus Bird upstairs. <laughs> My mom wouldn't let me get Double Dragon, the Tiger game, because uh, <laughs> because kids fought in the schoolyard because of it or something like that. <laughs> it's weird. But anyways, uh, thank you for joining us with this trip down memory lane. Uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, Mad Crush Mike's Hour. Mad Mike says Crush Hour is the prequel to WWE Network. WWE Network. <laughs> Speaking of the WWE Network, have you guys seen this logo that's going uh, around? Yeah. What? Well, well, I don't. Like, I don't think it's bad. I don't think Do it's good want. either. Uh, it's 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 very weird. Uh, let me I see don't think it's well. Nah. It's a camel. It's not. I've never, I didn't see it yet. So it's, not, it's not any weirder than that one that was circulating around, with, which was the old WWF or the old WWF logo, like the gold, uh, like the gold, uh, like let, like you thick respect that logo. Ones. Wait a minute, I know, wait a minute. I wasn't, how do you remember that? Because I Riz you remember too. box. <laughs> you, you too, but no, I, and but they instead of using the F, they had an E. Like it's no, it's no worse than that. Well, here, here's here's the new logo, uh, supposedly for the WWE Network. Uh, Whoa! <laughs> yeah, yeah. Looks like the Washington oh. Wizards logo. A little bit, a <laughs> little bit. So um, I don't I know. Don't think Whatever bad. you I think of that, I, I mean, but it <laughs> looks like they're going the reality show route for a lot of these. We've seen uh, from the from the shows being uh, 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 pimped lately. Uh, so I, I I'm, I'm interested wheels, in yo. this, huh? Heels, Heels on, on wheels, wheels. yeah. Did you read about Heels on Wheels? I, yeah, yeah. No. I helped what select is, the title for Heels on Wheels. <laughs> what is this? It. Tell me about this. Oh, well, kitties. Well, I was reading the like basically WWE statement of what it's all about, and it's going to be like a reality show where you see the divas travel, and they I guess they're going to have like a bus or something. So it's going to be like I guess road rules for divas or something. Oh man! But there was That's something where is. like. Stay tuned and watch the show. Get a coat, uh, get a coat, and you can be one of the lucky winners to be or uh, to get availability to the twenty-four hour cam inside the bus or something. And I'm like, what? Okay, this is crazy. Yeah, How much money are they going to sink in these shows, man? I have no idea. I mean, granted, reality shows is the cheapest stuff out there, but holy crap! Okay, here's the description. I mean, 
The, oh, this is the this is from uh, WWE.com, I believe. The ultimate behind-the-scenes look into the lives of six divas as they work, train, and party together across the country in the confines of a tour bus. Think Bret Michaels' Rock of Love tour meets Road oh, Rules. No. I'm totally going to watch that show. Oh, no. I How actually do, so will Double the clamp. <laughs> How do six divas share one shower? What happens when a joke is Whoa! Over gets- the same time? And- That's pandering. Pandering. And- what happens when a sold. jilted lover gets intimidated with another diva on the bus? If you thought there were sparks in the ring every night, wait until you see what happens on the bus. And make sure to watch every week for a special code that unlocks the bus's live 24-7 webcam. Oh hell. I'm sold. I really I really hope that they actually let it be a reality show and not script it in that obvious way that they script <laughs> things. You mean like the rest of pro wrestling? That's exactly right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's <laughs> exactly yeah, right. Same page. <laughs> well, if they're gonna do if they're gonna do the divas thing, and if they're also gonna have the legends one where they all live in one house, they they're gonna have some kind of crossover. <laughs> I really don't want to see them in the shower. <laughs> I do. Who are you, Riz? What? Yeah, I am super curious, and I will take bets to see whose nutsack hangs lower, whether it's the Iron <laughs> Sheik. Or, uh, or the honky tonk man. The honky tonk man. That's a good one. Oh, tremendous! <laughs> tremendous. Ah, uh, you guys, have you seen the uh, Aaron Rodgers commercial? What the discount double check? No. Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> discount double check move? No. This, yeah, yeah. The discount double check move. Exactly. Yeah. It's a little bit there. Um, I don't know. What do you guys think of it? It just seems. It just seems curious that there's. You know, this has become. A thing. Oh, I love it. <laughs> you love it, <laughs> but it's never it's never really mentioned that it's a pro wrestling move, right? Like no. to the public audience, no. it's completely ignored. Yeah. So 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 you know, I, I don't know. Just throwing that out there. I didn't know if you guys had any thoughts about that as you I see don't. it on TV every week. No. During re- no, no, football. No thoughts. Okay. No idea. I don't Moving football. on. <laughs> Moving on. Football's for losers. Uh, Kamala. WWE legend uh, is uh, officially oh. retired. Oh. Uh, well, I guess it depends on you have to. Uh, he had his uh, leg actually am- amputated uh, due to complications. Just what is just the foot? Just the foot. Okay. Uh, it says here uh, due to complications from high blood pressure and diabetes. So, uh, so you know, best to him. Kamala definitely entertained us for ages. Yeah. yeah, man. Yeah, I mean, I think uh, I think I've seen uh, I've seen seen Kamala in person. I think a couple of times here. Yeah, he's been in Nine Legends a couple times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. He was. I, I remember that now. I think what, what uh, Chess, I just think Chess Flexor brought him out. So but what of Kim Chi? What of Kim Chi? What does Kim Chi do now? Exactly. Whatever she feels like. Whatever feels like. <laughs> Look at these fucking Kim Chi. It's fucking throws on the mask. And nobody asks some questions. No, no, no. He's like uh, just by himself uh, dealing with it. And Just like Mayor Mystery. Mayor, Mayor Mystery, exactly. He has a mustache on his mask. I know he's the, it's that on his him, mask. That makes him the best thing ever in pro wrestling. Ever. That's ever no, happened. Ever, exactly. He's exactly. better than a sloppy blowjob, and then we can be LT. <laughs> it's definitely a slow news week because this is what's come across. That I have to put in here. Kurt Angle oh, no. avoids jail time in his latest arrest. Yes, uh. once again. <laughs> He has issued a fifteen hundred dollar fine he for his November eighth arrest in Warren County, Virginia. Uh, the oh, roads are not safe in Virginia. Not a fifteen hundred dollar. Oh fine. man, Angle his was originally was his mugshot. <laughs> <laughs> now you're just mocking me. <laughs> oh man, that's wrong. That's wrong. Um, but uh, yeah, it was lowered. His, uh, he was originally charged with the DUI, but the charge was lowered to reckless driving because of. A second breathalyzer test determined that he was below the legal limit. Fuck ever. Yeah, he was charged with reckless driving. The roads are not safe in Pittsburgh or Virginia. I'm sorry. Virginia. 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 <laughs> we got the matching set now. Yeah. You can't have cock without vagina. Can't have bear without salmon. <laughs> what? I'm I'm not lying. He's not wrong. He's not. 
So, anybody excited for the return of the guest star Jonah Hill next week? Woo-hoo! Yay! Yeah. Is he the fat one? No, no, he's the thin one. I yeah. bet. I bet he runs the ropes. You think so? Once. <laughs> Once. Yeah. Mm. Wouldn't you though? Wouldn't you? I would. I wouldn't bet your dick on it. First yep. thing you can do. No, the second thing you do, you can do to embarrass yourself in the ring. The first thing is tripping over the ropes coming into the ring. Yep. Because because a lot of people get that wrong. Yeah. So you know. I just slide under. Yeah. It's oh, more complicated you know? than you think. Good luck with that. Good I've done it before. That. Yeah, yeah. Um, I've, before. I've worked in a ring. And he's going to be promoting the Sitter movie. As uh, Bobby, I think you said on the uh, on yep. the gold. Last this movie is, is a fat man. Last Which movie means? is a fat man. Last, last funny movie. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Trust me, I know. I don't know. It, <laughs> it's not going to be as good as the Muppets. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's well, not. You're no. exactly right. You are correct. <laughs> and God, no one I hope the Muppets doesn't suck. Wouldn't that be awful if it was bad? No, <sighs> don't say no. that. Don't say such things. I'm gonna punch you in the face. So, hey, um, me or Bobby or Sword? You. you. Oh, cool. Everybody's getting punched. You're gonna in punch the face. everyone in the face. Everybody gets punched in the face. Although, you're, you're getting punch punched in the face. In the face. You're, <laughs> you're getting punched in the face. You're getting punched in the face. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> I'm done. Everyone's getting a puppet in the face! <laughs> <laughs> oh and I'm done. The wow. puppet's the first one. Wow. Oh uh, oh, so the puppet, Sur- that was me. Survivor Series is this weekend. Yeah, it is. Let's do picks. Let's do picks. The uh, first one, we got Cena and The Rock versus Miz and our truth oh, Miz and R-Truth. Miz and R-Truth. <laughs> Everybody apparently gave their pick at the same time. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I, did, I didn't. No way this lasts. Mm. Uh, King Kong uh, Bundy. What well, King Kong Bundy? <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna it's gonna be a squash match, uh, and then the heels are gonna get the upper hand just enough for Rock and Cena to have to work together, and then they'll have the yeah. pop, and then it'll uh, all fall apart. There you go. There and you then go. Rock uh, Rock Bottom Cena walks away yep. and walks away, just like a WrestleMania. Yep, that sounds yeah. right to me. Sounds right. Moving on. Sounds right to me. Uh, we got the actual. Oh, we got Mark Henry versus the Big Show going on. Bet you. I, I, I'm throwing this out there. Yeah. I think WWE is going to do it again. Again? Again. Again? No. Again. Nobody would expect a second time. Again. I think they're going to do it again. <laughs> this time the arena is going to cave in. No, no, exactly. no, because here's what's going to happen. We did it reinforce because it's Survivor the Series, concrete. Yeah. <laughs> which means the, the pay-per-view after is uh, TLC, right? Y- yeah. So here's what's going to happen. They're going to do it again. Oh, no. And at TLC, they're going to push the fact that the ring has been reinforced. That's all they're going to fucking talk about. Wow. Why aren't they talking about it gonna now? Happen? Yeah, why don't they do it now? Because WWE isn't smart enough. Because they're trying to stretch it out. Because they're trying to stretch it out, maybe. Uh, I don't know. It's going to... I mean, has there been... I think they'll try to stretch off Mark Henry as champion. Mm -hmm. I think he needs to get a little bit more of a title run. I don't think he's going to go into WrestleMania with the belt. But... I don't know. I I I do think this is the best that Mark Henry's ever done at anything. Mm -hmm. Yeah, probably. This is the most interesting I've ever seen him. Yeah, I say I say give it to Mark Henry uh, at the pay per view, and maybe have him lose it down the line, either show or someone else. You know what's going to happen? It's going to happen again. The ring's going to collapse. They're going to create a hole, and the Undertaker is going to reemerge from hell. And that's how he's going to come back. <laughs> he's like, oh, thank you. I was trying <laughs> to like, love that. Me. You've seen it all over the site. Where is the Undertaker? What's the whereabouts of the Undertaker? Well, that's interesting. They're talking about that now. Well, of all that's time. because yeah, everyone's I mean, freaking out about it on Twitter or Facebook and so, all that shit. He's the, dead. And they did the same thing with John Morrison when he was slumping. Mm-hmm. They did like that whole, why is yeah, John why is Morrison John not doing anything? Because mm-hmm. of his ex-girlfriend. Yeah, <laughs> don't get girlfriends in wrestling. That's what it's about. Nope. Um, that's, that's where the Undertaker is. He's fucking his wife. <laughs> that, no, <laughs> no, 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 no. That's, you that's can have hard. girlfriends in wrestling. Just don't get wrestler girlfriends. Don't yeah, that's wrestler. actually. So that's what, yeah. uh, Mad that's Mike what, says. So that's what the article should have been. Just why is Jomo? Uh, what, what was it? Why did Jomo lose his mojo? Is that what they called it? <laughs> what the hell? Yeah, yeah, yeah that's, that's what it said. No, that's, that's what they called it. And it should have been just one word, bitches. Yeah, like, 
bitches. <laughs> bitches be tripping. Joe, Joe Mo tripping. has 100 problems. <laughs> and bitches are 99 of them. <laughs> I'm glad someone got that. Oh, uh, man, Mike. Man, Mike uh, says Triple H is still wondering how Ma- Mark Henry got his pecs to go all the way around to his back. Uh, <laughs> Not using drugs. Mm-hmm. That's how. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, another one, Del Rio and CM Punk. Please give it to Punk. No, it'll be Del Rio. Yep. He won't win the Please, title. Punk. No. No, no. So they'll move no. into TLC. Yeah. Okay. It's going to go into TLC. Okay. Punk's always good on ladders, and he's on the uh, poster, so. Oh, yeah, well, yeah he is. He Wait, is. Which is interesting, though, because what is Cena going to do then? Who gives a fuck? I know. But or, I'm mean, just saying, after you know what? Rock, it's not like The Rock's going to show up for another pay per view. You know what? No, I changed my mind. Hmm. No, it, CM Punk is going to win. And then he's going to play games with Alberto Del Rio, just like Alberto Del Rio did with him. Okay. That would be good. And they're going to go I, into... But I see, I and they're see gonna go into, run-ins. They're going to go into uh, TLC because it's Punk's choosing. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And LLC. Punk's going to punish, want to punish the hell out of Alberto. Could be. Could be. That'd be a good idea. All right. Then the one that I really get excited about, which they did promote halfway through <laughs> half of Raw last night, uh, the actual Survivor Series match of the year. Yay! Yay! Bunch of random people. Here we go. <laughs> Everyone loses. Everybody. And Mason Ryan. Oh, I'm going to take a poop. Doesn't Randy Mason Orton have Survivor. some kind of streak going on right now, though? Getting the pictures. Yeah, let me guess. Okay, let me guess. Kofi's the first one eliminated. Uh, Mason Ryan gets eliminated by DQ. Um, and then Orton's the last one. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Orton, Orton gets Orton's last one. He goes through like three people and we win. Can't lose. Can't, they can't can't be. He goes. He's, he's going to be right. Three to one. What's that, he goes, Bobby? He goes through Chavo Guerrero two point oh and freaking uh, who else? He does look like Chavo in that picture, too. He's going to be yeah, down 3-1, like to one, and he's yeah, going to beat him all. Yeah, no, by the way, let's talk about that. WWE, thanks for, uh, you know, after a long streak. Thanks for going back to your racist tendencies again with fucking Hunico. Yeah. With the barbed-wired fence on his Titantron and the one-button shirt and the mm. freaking headband that never comes off. Thanks. Thanks, WWE. I'm offended. Thanks. Conan, You're not even Mexican. Shut up. He's close yeah. enough. <laughs> Pretty sure he's going to be saying he's Viva, Viva La Raza. He's a, he's a pro, it's a proximity <laughs> thing with him. He's so. our Mexican. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> that's what Riz said. <laughs> <laughs> Gets, and, this is, and did you see what they're going to do with uh, how to th- do this whole Sin Cara thing now? Bring in more Mexicans. Yay. Ain't nothing wrong with some Mexicans. Nope. Yeah. Not at all. They need to uh, bring in some Japanese luchadors too. Yeah, they do. Well, they, yeah, yeah. They're, not, they're not luchadors. They luchador need to bring ch- Tajiri. Sure, they are. Mm. They uh, have Tajiri. Uh, you know, it makes me happy to know that Tajiri's somewhere uh, getting his dick sucked and eating some sushi. <laughs> He's living a good life and his brain is still, you know, not mushy enough to enjoy it. I agree. It, uh, Tajiri is in WWE. His name is Yoshi Tatsu. <laughs> Oh, yeah. oh, oh no, 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 no. Do you guys follow Yoshitatsu on uh, Twitter? Nope. Yes. No. <laughs> oh, man. I follow him. He's just the nicest, and it's he's the nicest guy, and it's so sad because he just doesn't realize <laughs> how bad he's getting fucked. <laughs> he just says thank you it's, and takes it's like he doesn't like know that he's not on TV ever oh, and no one he's, knows he's he exists. Dark side Yoshi. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, now, he's the, now he went to the dark side. Yeah, and he, every time, like, he's like, oh, I just killed five people in Call of Duty. That is Dark Side. Uh, <laughs> I bought an action figure that's the same. <laughs> I love you, Yoshi. <laughs> I, I would follow movies. him, but I can't spell that. Yoshi Tatsu. Oh. Yoshi Tatsu. Yoshi Tatsu. Yeah. He's uh, a gifted Japanese performer. He proudly carries the spirit of the land rising. Uh, <laughs> oh. Uh, yeah, I'm how, sorry. How many centuries has it been since Japanese refer to themselves as the land of the rising sun? Are you fucking kidding me? Since <laughs> anyone called it that who was outside of professional wrestling. <laughs> At least he's not from parts unknown. Actually, Kento Suzuki. Actually, I'm pretty sure they do still call it that. Yeah. I think you're full of shit. I think you're full of shit. 
Well, <laughs> you remember, like everyone's cool. You remember Kenzo Suzuki? Oh, man. <laughs> the samurai, was it? <laughs> I don't Who did know. he team with all the time? Now? I said good no, day. <laughs> he, he was tag team champions with Rene Dupree. <laughs> Rene Dupree. Why did that happen? God, remember when they fucking Lot Resistance had the tag titles for a year? <laughs> oh, they, had, they, had, they, they had cool theme music, though. One's from France, <laughs> one's from Japan. Let's make them a tag team. <laughs> that makes sense. That makes sense. They're the foreigners, whatever, right? And he had a geisha for a um, uh, ballet. <laughs> That oh, he, yeah. That they that they oh, yeah. that they sure. they think that he abused. I don't know. Um, Kenzo was <laughs> awesome. Then he turned like, like a it American like a karaoke lost. singer <laughs> during the you don't, end, like you don't that top button or something. He was yeah. the great Kali before the great Kali. Hey, there's one more yeah. match for Survivor Series though. Beth right. Phoenix versus Eve. Yay! Oh. <laughs> Beth Phoenix. Oh, wow. Also, wow. to mention that we're not getting a U.S. title match anymore. We're not anymore? Because Ziggler's in the... Unless he's going to pull double duty again. I say, there's, a, there's a petition. Why not, right? Why are there only four matches? Oh, speaking of petitions, I I don't know why they mentioned this. In, can I mention this, even though I didn't mention the indie minute? Uh, no. Sure. Is, is that, is no. that all indie related? I'm going to start the clock again. <laughs> <laughs> that Gregory Iron has a petition to be in the Royal Rumble. Oh, yeah, yes, yeah, he yeah. does. And he was on Fox News with it this week. I mm-hmm. hope he gets in. I have a link somewhere for that. It's awesome. That was a good segue. <laughs> yes. no, no, Hot Wheels. Bully Ray did not go to Parts Unknown. Scott Steiner went to Parts Unknown. High school? What? That was the only highlight of the page. Yeah, these uh, petitions, uh, and John Morrison, actually, I saw him retweet the link to the petition on Twitter. And for a second, I thought, that's good. It shows that, you know, he's, he's, he's looking out for his, his friend and wants him to get a match and all that. And I thought, wow, that's really sad because um, you'll never get a U.S. title match. <laughs> <laughs> That's oh, funny. Let's see. Let's see. We got the Fox News thing. Uh, John Morrison, WWE doormat. So here's a little bit from the from the uh, the, the oh the audio is not working. Never mind. Here's oh, not oh. anything from from that ordeal. Okay, but yeah, there's a, actually there's a little bit of footage. There was Gregory Iron on Fox and Friends on Fox News. And it looks like they're showing fo- some footage. It looks like it's from uh, Is that from Chikara? Yeah, it is from Chicago. But yeah, he has. We that, have you been following this? Uh, oh look, they plugged the uh, eye pay per view. That's that's yeah. great for Chikara. Holy crap! <laughs> nice, nice. Yeah, they, uh, yeah. They were promoting the eye pay per view on Fox and Friends, but he also mentioned his petition that uh, he well he posted a video on Chikara's uh, YouTube channel petition uh, saying I and I'm not sure where this petition actually is. I'll have to go and look for it. But there is a petition going around to get Gregory Iron uh, as one of the 40 participants in the 2012 Royal Rumble. Mm-hmm. Saying that, you know, he's overcome a lot in his career. And, you know, the one thing he's, you know, is his dream is to be, you know, at WrestleMania. Mm-hmm. So that's, you know, the first step for him. If you want to, we'll have to keep up on that. I'll see if I can find where the actual petition is at. But we'll to, um, yeah, we'll have to get this out to our people. Okay. I mean, I mean uh, Gregory, he's really cool. I've met him in person. He's been on the show. He's a really cool dude. And I'll be, uh, listen, it'd be, it'd be, it'd be, it'd be, listen, what, what, listen, I know he's a friend of the show mm-hmm. and I really wish that this would happen for him. Oh, Chachi's but, gonna but, bring us down and be the realist. But <laughs> let's be, bring fucking, it down, Chachi. Let's be fucking bring it serious down. here. Okay. This isn't going to happen. You know how this is going to happen? You know how this is going to happen, Chachi? Because WWE is all about promotion and mm. and their public face and everything. If this becomes so big that they can't avoid it, it's all over Fox and Friends. It's all over this stuff. You know who watches yeah. Fox if, and if Friends? Who watches it, Fox and Friends? 12-year-olds on Saturday morning. No, but you know, what they, you know who else That's watches it. Fox and Friends, apparently? Hmm. Vince McMahon. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, they said that on the interview. He is a psychotically huge. Person. Hey, you know who's and and you know who's on Fox and Friends? That's uh, that kind of links to this friend of Mike Quack and Bush Clayton Morris. Listen, so that listen, like out I too. said, so. it'd be really cool. Mm-hmm. But I, all right, it's not going to happen. I'll give him this. He no, may I, get it into the Rumble. Okay, like WWE could free up a spot. He's from, not looking to win the Rumble. He said his goal is to go to WrestleMania. Oh, yeah, well, but you he, know. He if he's using that's everybody's goal, right. Come on. If he's using Royal, if Royal Rumble is his starting point, 
then he's aiming for a main event at, Ro- at WrestleMania. Mm-hmm. That's mm-hmm. not going to happen. That's an interesting. It's an interesting way to try to get a contract. I mean, look at the day where Zack Ryder went from probably being unemployed by now to speaking of Zack Ryder. What about Zack Ryder? If he gets a WWE United States Championship match, mm-hmm. I'm challenging him to the Internet Championship. <laughs> <laughs> that is the question. Will he vacate well, the internet and, championship? And and this is the thing I just thought about the whole uh, Gregory Iron thing. Well, you know, we mentioned in the past that one of the people uh, that co- sort of praised him was CM Punk at mm-hmm. a past uh, indie show. Mm-hmm. Who's to say, you know, CM Punk's known now for breaking the fourth wall. Who's to say he's not going to mention this in one of his, you know, world-renowned promos now? That's and true. Kind of get that's that true. Out. I mean, he's a guy that's kind of on top in the company. I listen, think somebody would maybe listen. But he'll, he'll, get, I, he'll get if if w, if this gets big enough, WWE will open up a spot in the Rumble. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but it's that's not going to get past that. No, of course no, not. It, They're no, not. Not. I really think wrestling. if you ask Gregory Iron, he's not thinking that too. I, I know WWE has a. a history of repeating them themselves every seven years, but they're not going to go the Zach Gowan route again. Oh, no. No, no. I don't know about that. I don't know about that. He's a great guy with a great story and he's not an asshole. Like Zach Gowan was. That's not going to happen. Say that Zach Gowan. I hate... He doesn't do well with people who aren't (laughs) assholes. I hate to be a realist, but it's not going to happen. Fuck you and your realist opinion. Hey, Chachi, you know what I have to say about your realist opinion? Fuck what no you one say. Cares. No one else. Stop. No. Bring, listen, listen. Stop bringing realism to this pro wrestling podcast, Chachi. Stop it right now. <laughs> it's still realism to but me, Damon. I, I get what Chachi's saying. <laughs> no, <laughs> seriously. He, he, I I agree with Chachi. Okay. Yeah, I agree with Chachi. I'm because... sorry, I, just, I don't think it'll happen. I, I mean, it's great, and it's going to get Gregory Irons a lot of coverage. Right, and that's gonna awesome. Pay attention, but and hmm. that's awesome. And They're pushing this uh, petition for Zack Ryder because Zack Ryder is already a big name. Well, yeah. He already has the the YouTube fame and all that stuff. And They're trying to get now. him to the title shot as much as they can. So they they are promoting this <laughs> petition. Some some wrestler on the on the indie, indie scene, even though he is one of the better wrestlers in the, in the indie scene. And yeah, he has a disability, and that's all cool. But they're not going to push. They're not going <laughs> to see that. Cool. Though. They're not going to. They're not going to go. Oh, this guy's. This guy's got all these these uh this pe- names on this petition. Let's sign him up. Mm-hmm. They're not going to do that. No, 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 no. And, but going and on, not, and I'm not but, saying they're going to sign him. But I'm thinking I, I, no, I'm not, not they're not going to put him on the Royal Rumble too. That's, but I, I, no, I, I believe just feel he's like doing stuff way. like Fox. It's enough exposure. They no. say it might be on the radar, and you never know. No, well, the only well, thing, and like I said, I hate. I'm to, sorry, we're shooting down dreams. I hate here, to be yes. the <laughs> the dick here, but the only thing Gregory Gregory Irons is going to get from this is a shit ton of promotion, mm-hmm. and yeah. that's fantastic for him. Mm-hmm. He's not going to get He's being it. smart. He's he's riding that wave right. that CM Punk handed exactly. him a few months ago. Right. And that's tremendous. He's he, already working in more promotions. So before this, I think I've only seen him in maybe, you know, IWC a couple of times, AIW, PWO. I mean, right. he, he really seemed like it was the Midwest circuit for him. From what I saw, maybe I just didn't see see enough of it. Uh, but now he's in Chikara. He's he's popping up a lot of different places. Right, and that's so, awesome. For and he's him. on Fox News. Right, and that's you know? however awesome I hope for I'm him. wrong because yeah. I would like to see him, but it's not going to happen. Yeah, yeah. So why not? You know, let's push it. Let's get this link here. Let, we'll put it up on the Twitter. Uh, we'll put it up on the website. We'll we'll put hey, it up wherever we I can. Signed the let's petition. promote it. I, I, I exactly. signed it, but it, it's not going to happen. <laughs> I signed, but I don't believe in myself. All right. Um... So I think that's all for Survivor Series and Mr. Gregory Iron. Uh, there is a pro, there is a, uh, a, a, a review of uh, Chikara's High Noon Eye Pay Per View up thanks to Big Friggy. Uh, you know, yeah, you know those are available on Roku boxes, the Go Fight Live stuff. So you can get ROH Eye Pay Per Views and Chikara Eye Pay Per Views on your TV. And the Wrestling Mayhem Show. And the Wrestling Mayhem show. That's that's right as well. There's a Twitter link in the chat room. There is a Twitter link? I don't know what it's for. Uh, I'll see what I can do with that. 
So, uh, what else is going on this week you guys want to talk about here? TNA had a pay per view. No, I said what you want to talk about here. <laughs> I, 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 I said, I don't apparently, no, we can mention the fact that apparently Jeff. All right, wait, wait. Well, first of all, let's, mean, let's disclose Jeff, but, before we complain because there's enough people complaining about people complaining about wrestling they don't watch or complaining about wrestling and why the hell are they watching it. So let's disclose who actually watched the pay per view here today. I did. There you go. Now, Riz, <laughs> as means, the one... That means only Riz can speak. That is true. We can have our Jeff opinion, but we cannot throw... No, no, you didn't watch a pay-per-view, so fuck you. I Riz. saw a picture it's, of him. Hey, you, no, oh, I saw a picture you, of the you, pay-per-view. You, you I Russell saw a picture fan. of the pay-per-view, so I, I have a fucking opinion Mr. about it. Mr. <laughs> Mr. Fuck you, it's Riz's time. Mr. The puppet said no. Mr. <laughs> Mr. I think you were too hard on Russell Fan is yelling at Russell Fan. <laughs> <laughs> well, they gave me reason to. Last week was all unwarranted. All right. Oh shit! You're unwarranted. <laughs> no, Riz, Riz, you have one minute to talk about no, the TNA pay per view. Welcome to the TNA and minute. Go <laughs> and go. <laughs> Robbie e. beat Eric Young for the title. It sucks. Eric Young lost, but I'm not angry for, of that. And bitch, bling equals bitches. Then Mexican America and Sarita defeated Ink Ink and whatever the hell her name is in the six person tag match. The hot tattoo bitch. For the tag team titles. <laughs> Don't call her a bitch. <laughs> Austin Aries defeated that Sorensen and Cash. It was a good match. Very fucking confusing. Uh, RVD defeated Daniels. Daniels wanted a gentleman's rules match. They shook hands to make it a gentleman's rule match, but it turns into a hardcore match, which it was scheduled to begin be to begin with. Did they really call it a gentleman's rules match? I don't know. Mo moving on, <laughs> Crimson and I'm asking because I didn't watch the fucking pay per view. <laughs> he said he doesn't know. Shut up. Crimson and Morgan went into double di disqualification, which was probably one of the worst things I've ever seen. Uh, uh, Anderson and Abyss defeated Bully Ray and Steiner. The best part of the show was when Scott Steiner did the interview and said that he, he went to uh, Parts Unknown and banged Abyss's girlfriend, <laughs> who is fat. <laughs> Kept her pings, she's fat. And Abyss pulled a taker after the match when he was thrown through the table and stood right up and scared the living crap out of both Bully Ray and Steiner. Gail Kim defeated Velvet Sky for the knockouts title, which Wrestle Fan, I know you're so happy so happy about that. Oh yay, things are changing. Okay. Jeff Hardy defeated Jeff Jarrett. And then in seventeen seconds. Okay. Then Jeff Jar then Jeff Hardy beat Jeff Jarrett again. And then Jeff Jarrett hit him over the head with a steel chair. And Jeff Hardy beat him again. So yeah. Then the main he's a, event He's a Decepticon. Yeah. R Rude and AJ had actually a good match, but it was a sucky finish to Did a very sucky John Tortorello. One or John Tortorello. For a very sucky pay per view. But I do give TNA credit. The rude AJ match was a good match for one week for a one week build. Okay, okay. How did I do, Chachi? Oh, I don't care. Okay, I was just <laughs> messing with you. I knew you couldn't do it in a minute, but no, I mean, it was real questionable. I mean, it was a, it was a. <laughs> I probably did it less than Russell fans time. Oh, oh yeah, definitely, yourself. definitely. Who, uh, mm, I, even though he tried to, you know, sideswipe me with his comments. Yep, but, you know. Riz, that main event was made 30 seconds before Impact ended. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Um, yeah, Toxin is, is her name. Toxin. Uh, yes. Yeah. I like I remember seeing her old name, and I, I haven't tracked down what her name is. It, her, her old name was Christina Von Eri. Von Eri, yes. Thank you very much. Yeah. And she's actually the uh, fiancé of Jesse Neal. I didn't know that. That makes sense. And, yeah, I've read that before, so... Uh, and that completely makes sense. <laughs> they share it yeah, together. They share fuck all you guys for not knowing that there's a TNA pay per view, and I had to watch it all by myself. <laughs> hey, I was hey, getting home. What do you okay? want, man? I mean, I it's care. I mean, oh, I was busy aware, playing Quake Live. Just didn't yeah, care. Yeah, yeah. I think yeah. I, was, I was sleeping. I'm watching the crappy wrestling, so you don't have to. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody has to. Jesus. 
between you and that, and like, Dead. no, yeah, I mean, that's, you know, hey, I gave my periodic uh, TNA shot again, and it kind of started boring me. So, uh, God bless you if you're watching those things. Uh, uh, watch, <laughs> Mad Mike is flipping out because he watches Did you Impact watch the pay-per-view, week. sir? He watches Impact every week, and he works on Sunday night, so he oh, gets boo-hoo. a pass. He gets, he was on a bus. Yeah, but you know what? He was no. on a bus. You know what? It doesn't count. Why? Because he's not here to tell us about it. No, it isn't. Yep. No, it Riz is. is here to tell us about the pay-per-view he watched mm-hmm. that no one else did. And I'm glad somebody did. Therefore, so we know. it counts. Because I don't want to be unwarranted hating on TNA. We need a reason to hate on TNA. And Riz gave Riz, us that reason. On a scale of um, 1 to 10, how hard can we hate on TNA this week? 6? Okay. Okay. All right. Oh, no, wait, no, no. Yeah. Wait, from 1 to 10, meaning 1, we don't talk about it, to 10, rage? Yes. Okay. 8. Uh, 8? <laughs> oh, that's up there. Oh, wow. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, that's... Well, because cause that's most play. of all the, the... The Crimson Morgan double DQ was probably the worst finish I've ever seen in TNA. So I'm yeah. just throwing that's that out awesome. there. We are that close to putting our fist through drywall. <laughs> Just so you know, Wait, on that I, scale. If I put 8.5 on there, would that be drywall punching? No, no. Drywall punching is reserved for the ten. utmost. Yeah, a 10. Uh, okay. A 10 plus. Okay. Uh, I'll, I'll keep that in mind when I'm the only one watching the TNA <laughs> pay per view again. It's been named. It's the TN hate scale. TNA. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yep. All right. Sonic All right. Dub. Uh, That's incredible. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm happy there's wrestling out there. Some other people have places to do things, but I mean. <laughs> but when it's that bad. Yeah. Well, I, 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 and yes, when it's that their consistently fans, they're getting bad. Their fans and, and everything. And I, but is there anybody the out there? Please, what? somebody. Are you a supporter of TNA that watches this show? Or have we just scared you away at this point? Here's I, something. I know. I. Re- I. The. the Bog with my mind. I was watching the main event that was Rude and AJ Styles, mm-hmm. <laughs> two yes. of the best wrestlers out there. Mm-hmm. Two, one of the, two of the best wrestlers, and the fans at the Impact Zone were chanting for Scott Steiner. <laughs> well, there's your first problem. <laughs> See, that's one. Sonic Screwjob said drywall punching is reserved for his mugshot <laughs> on his T-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, yes it is. Hey, all I gotta say about TNA is, is at least it's not midgets jerking off in trash cans. I, I think I kind of want to see that. that. Well, then you should watch TNA's like second show. Yeah, ever. those were the good old days, man. <laughs> back when they had strippers in cages? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, back they had awesome when they wrestling had... back then. <laughs> Fucking their first, their, for what, their first X Division title match was uh, Jerry Lynn, low key. Uh, AJ Styles and was it Christopher Daniels? Was he the fourth? No, uh, the fourth was Psychosis. Psychosis, and it was fucking awesome. Yeah, TNA yeah. didn't always suck. No, and their no. champion, and then their champion was Ken Shamrock. Say, so, I'm sorry. When they had a show every week that was ten dollars for two hours every week, I think I would have gladly paid the ten dollars for two hours every week. It yeah, was good. It how many, t- how many times did we go to LB's house? And watch TNA. Or Snack. Yeah, there was a time. Was it? Mm, I, was thought it was, I thought we went to Snack. We went to your house? I thought we it was... went both. We went both. Okay. Oh, no. you. I, I've never been to Snack's house, but you did come to my house at various points. Are you sure it was for TNA? It was at least for TNA pay-per-views. Really? I don't remember yep. this. Did I block this out? You Man. may have. Maybe. Maybe. Anyway. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, there was a time where we were excited about this. It was, it was good. It was an alternative. Now it's kind of... They've laggered a little bit. Listen, here you know? are the people that watch okay. TNA live. Who? Okay? The people who go to Universal Studios every day for mm-hmm. like to visit the park. Mm-hmm. Okay? Or and they're hap- they happen to be there on the day they record. Or, no, no, no. There's the fans, there's the guys no. who are like, I feel special because I get to watch wrestling and it's on Spike TV every week. Right. And it's free. That's it. Mm-hmm. Those are the yeah. only people that willingly go to the impact zone. Look, look at what Get happens on your pay per view when you charge at the door. Bound for glory. Didn't even <laughs> feel half, half of the arena. Right. But yet their live shows are so good and everybody goes to them. 
Really? Does everyone go to them? Uh, not at, no. They do a I lot better. Go. They, they do a lot to. better. They used to, or is that even waning a bit? I think I think I, I heard would, that they're they're not even selling those out. I would go to IWC before I go to a TNA live oh. show. Oh. And you know how I feel about. Wait, why are you wrestling? owing? What? Those are harsh words from Chachi. Oh, from Chachi. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> Seriously. Now I, okay, now I get why you owe. But yeah, IWC. Hell yeah. I, I would go to, <laughs> I don't know, name another local wrestling fed. I would go AON. there. Yeah, I would go to AON <laughs> in Johnstown before I go to t- to a TNA live show. And in- you might get killed. No. Mm-hmm. Or no, no, they don't kill fans. Right. I would go, <laughs> I would go out to Johnstown to an AON report. Or AON show. That's Bobby. Bobby, what have you done? You've been to the AON shows live. Going to a TNA show. Yeah, <laughs> I would go to. I would go out to Johnstown and go to an AON show before I go out to Route Twenty Eight, that place out there, the Chess Arena. Yeah, and watch a TNA live show. It takes me twenty minutes to get out Route Twenty Eight. <laughs> All right, now that we've ran that down a bit. Um, fuck basically, what I'm what saying... What you're saying is you're not going to watch fucking TNA. Fuck, fuck you, TNA. Oh, man. All right. You're very succinctly, Josh. Wow. On that note, let's learn. what we. Let's find out what we learned this week, other than the hate for TNA. Uh, LB? Oh, God, no. <laughs> oh, Jesus, you've started with me. Incredible. Oh. <laughs> to you, too. Oh, bugger. I'll go. <laughs> I don't want you to go. You're still seething. <laughs> no, I'm good. <laughs> All right, Chachi. Chachi, what'd you learn oh, this week in wrestling? I learned that uh, it doesn't matter what Rock does on Raw. He still has a direct line to the part of me that made me love wrestling. Your crotch? <laughs> Why do you <laughs> always go to a naughty part? Why? <sighs> But no, you were telling me about this a little bit earlier. Right, it it it, it gets me excited each and every time. See? <laughs> That's why I said that. I know. <laughs> like I'm happy it to is be. Naughty place. I I am happy to be watching wrestling when you know something like The Rock comes out, rock bottoms Mick Foley doesn't say a word and leaves. Thirty seconds. Mm-hmm. I was ecstatic. Or he comes out and he does the promo that he did last night with John Cena in Awesome Truth. And it was amazing. Alright. He got he got a crowd to chant Cena's lady parts. <laughs> <laughs> I want to point out that none of that stuff trended on Twitter, I believe. His man Jen. Yeah, yeah, it so. did. After a while. Okay, okay. Russell fan, what'd you learn from wrestling this week? I learned that it's it's a sad world in wrestling when people forget the amazingness that was B squared. Yes. <laughs> oh, B squared. B squared. DJ Lunchbox. Yes, sir. What'd you learn from wrestling this week? I figured it out. <laughs> <laughs> I figured it out. <clears throat> dun, 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 dun. Uh, the Tooth Fairy. The Game Plan. Fast Five, Scorpion King. Uh, oh, and uh, naming Get the Shorty. Rock movies. He was in Get Shorty. And All it- these rock movies. The greatest thing The Rock has done over the past few years is took him thirty seconds. It involved Mick Foley <laughs> and a rock bottom. Mm. There you go. Bullshit. Fast Five was awesome. It was. Awesome. I, still, I, I in the interest of full disclosure, I still haven't seen it. Yeah. Uh, uh, so I just I'll, threw I'll, it in there because I was thinking but- rock movies. By the way, Miz, uh, ju- just to mention the fact that both me and AJ's opinions on this whole rock thing, Miz agrees with us. What? He's like, why the fuck are you guys taking up all the spotlight? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm not saying that that part, like, I, I, I'm not saying that I disagree with that part. Yeah, yeah. But it, it's, it, it's, it's what it is. And that, that's no, no, I'm just saying it. I found that funny. Uh, Bobby, what'd you learn from this week in wrestling? Uh, I learned that members of Mexican drug cartels look awkward doing uh, luchador moves. <laughs> <laughs> Example. Oh, Unico. Uh, the whole Unico. Time. Unico. Unico. Yeah. I thought uh, he was going to be called Epico, too. Epico? Epico's Primo's uh, brother or something. Oh, it's yeah. a different guy? Tito. 
Yeah, yeah oh. Tito. Weird Which thing. I thought Epico was under a mask and Tito Cologne was a different person. I don't know. No. I'm, I'm confused. It's like and, now they're, and now they're going to bring in Averno or whatever. It's like too many Mexicans. No, too many O's. Straight. Mr. Riz. Yes. What did you learn from building a baked good this week? <laughs> I learned I make good balls. Yes. My balls are tasty. CafeSources.com. That'll be up in a few days. But in wrestling, I learned that oh, no, John was tasty. Seen you learned that. That, John, that I learned in wrestling that John Cena was a shitty baseball player. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Not clutch at all. Uh, excellent. Sorry. Excellent. Uh, wait, from the chat room. Uh, no one cares Sonic what the chat room learned says. That, uh, hey, don't apparently you talk about takes nine, job. Apparently it takes only 19 minutes to rock the WWE. He also learned that it might take... <laughs> He might take NyQuil next week, too. Uh, Mad Mike learned that somehow I am less excited to go to the live Survivor Series in the Garden after the go-home show. Uh, it's not fair. There's still SmackDown. Uh, Sierra 2 k learned that D- Jeff Hardy is the long-lost Dark Power Ranger. No. Uh, no. no. <laughs> Don't ruin my childhood, Sero. <laughs> Sero, that sounds like it could be a part of this. Uh, that's, the best, that's the best username ever. Butter Skunt. <laughs> what did I learn? I learned uh, I learned that I will not be punching a midget on Saturday uh, because they're not oh. from Half Pint bra- Brawlers. They're oh. from the Hulk Hogan show. Oh, <laughs> so that gives you more. Um, thank you, punch. thank you guys last night to hang out for help and clarify that. Um, yes, Bobby, did yes. you tell us what you learned? Yeah, he did. Okay. Yeah, I did. He did. All right, make him well, sure. I don't. I what, what did Puppy F- Puppet FJ tell you? I, 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 I felt like we forgot Bobby, but I guess I we learned to count. To eight. <laughs> <laughs> because of TNA. I'm sorry. Wow. I'm sorry. I... <laughs> All right. On that note, hey, uh... this episode of the Wrestling Mayhem Show is brought to you by the letters WMS and the number eight. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thanks, guys. Uh, Chachi's at Chachi says dot net doing Chachi says and things. Viewers like you. wrestle fans and talk about like wrestling you. at the wrestle fan. DJ Lawrence Box is right, rightfully thoughtful at thoughtfulriot.com. Twitter him at DJ Lunchbox. Bobby F. J. Town and that fucking puppet are in up in Johnstown, PA doing puppet things. The Riz, and by fucking puppet, he means it fucks a lot. Uh, the Riz is at Riz IUP on the Twitters, and he'll be building some baked goods very shortly in a home near you. I hope not. I am the Sorg. I am uh, at Sorgatron, Sorgatron.com uh, for all of these Sorgy things. And uh, you got, hey, he I'll, I'll is be the up. ruler of this we empire. I completely didn't mention it on the indie report, but uh, I will be up in Meadville, PA for a night yeah, of the yeah. superstars, which is also going to have Mick Foley, by the way. Find Ooh. out more at IWCWrestling.com. I'll be ringside with the camera, as usual. With uh, yeah, that, that one that's pointing at Chachi right there, that camera right there. Yeah, that's the wrestling we'll camera. Be pointed at Mick Foley. Because it's already been kicked well yes yes thanks guys wrestling mayhem show please check us out wrestling mayhem show.com twitter at mayhem show good times good at wrestling mayhem show.com is the email 412206wms09670 and uh download the app you can plus us on it's google on what no, you it's on up. here somewhere you can plus us on google Follow us on Facebook. That sounds dirty. Like plus, on Twitter. Plus us. You're fucking up my whole thing. Plus All us. of you guys. Fuck you, mayhem out. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait.